So how can we eliminate a headache and an accidental clicking of the word block when we're in Google Meets for our kids? We can do that in the Google Admin Console by removing that allow video microphone setting for students. We can make it so that the student doesn't even see that, all right? So in order to do that, we're gonna go into the Google Admin Console under Devices, Chrome Settings, uh, users and browser settings and we're going to locate under the hardware category the video audio input URLs right and then we're going to copy and paste https colon meet dot google dot com all right so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through just how to do that right so again this is that irritating uh, message that we receive and we know if our students click block then it's just gonna not work, right? So anyway, how we fix this is we go ahead and jump into our Google Admin Console right here. So I'm gonna drag my Google Admin Console over here and I'm gonna jump into my devices settings right here. And underneath devices, I'm gonna scroll over here, click on Chrome, go down to settings and then click on users and browsers. So once we click on users and browsers, you need to choose where you want to put this. If it's going to be at the top of your OU and you want to enable it for everybody in your domain, if you think everybody doesn't need to have, uh, have the ability to click allow, then do that. I would definitely just do it for students, uh, but if you know you got some teachers that need that uh, help as well, you can go ahead and do this for teachers as well, all right? So let's go ahead and choose here. I'm gonna do this for the top of the domain because I know this district uses it and it's okay, all right? So what I'm gonna do is up at the top, I'm gonna search for a category and that category is hardware, okay? And the, under the hardcore, hardware category, which is about 55 scrolls down the page, if you want to manually search for it, you want to find the spot that says audio input microphone. So there are three different settings we're going to turn on. Uh, the first is the audio one. So I'm going to copy and paste HTTPS colon meet uh, colon forward slash meet.google.com in there and I'm going to hit save. That means it's not going to prompt them to use their microphone, but you also have the video camera. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in there under the video, allow video audio inputs and we're gonna make sure that that's in there as well, okay? So now that's allowed for two different things, but there's another option that we can do. There's another place that it's gonna be annoying for our kids that they could potentially click block, all right? And that's for notifications. So I'm gonna search for notifications and we see notifications right here. Allow the user to decide, okay? I'm gonna say allow the following desktop notifications and I'm gonna paste meet.google.com. So that way, whenever there's a Google Meet notification that pops up for any reason, it's gonna let everybody in the domain know, okay? So again, every single time I do that, I make a change here, I'm gonna see this window up here in this top corner right above me, right there. So it says save. You definitely have to hit save after every single one. Once you hit save, it's gonna add it to your domain and you will be good to go. So hopefully I've answered your question today and uh, let me bring this back up here. Uh, that's what we did. We went ahead and removed or allowed a specific URL. So if you're a Google admin and this helped you out, I appreciate a thumbs up uh, or a subscription. If you're a teacher and you found this out and you're just Googling, how can I remove this? How can I make it so the students don't have to do this? Forward this on to your tech person and they can follow these step-by-step -step directions for their Google Admin Console. This isn't something that the teacher can automatically do. This is only something that your Google administrator can do. All right, so thank you very much. My name is Eric Griffith, and you can follow me on the Twitters at Mr. Griftastic, and I hope you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.